I've always liked cars. I liked Hot Wheels as a kid. I would tag along with my dad to car shows. And when I saw a cool car on the road, I would harass my friends and go, <gasps> Look at that. Uh, still kind of do. But my interest definitely peaked when I was turning 16 and I could get my license. Finally, I could navigate the car-dependent suburbia of North America upon my own free will and contribute unreasonable amounts of greenhouse gas emissions. Hooray! Leading up to my birthday, I started looking for used cars in my area. Trucks, SUVs, whatever, the usual boring stuff. After a while of looking, I suddenly thought, Man, this is gonna be my first car. Something I'll remember forever. I don't want to buy something boring or else those YouTube sponsorships would be for nothing. Hmm. <gasps> These cars were sick as hell! The idea of owning and driving something cool hit all the dopamine triggers in my tiny teenage brain. Obviously, I'm not rich. I wasn't going to buy some Lambo or a brand new Challenger, just something that's got more personality than a Kia Soul. God, I hate Kia Souls. And I found something. A blue 2008 Ford Mustang GT. There are better cars out there, and it's not everyone's cup of tea, but no matter what I looked at, it just stuck in my mind. It was reasonably priced, great condition, big old V8 engine, I was sold. I should mention, uh, this was actually kind of stupid. This car is clearly not equipped for a Canadian winter, so I'd have to get another vehicle for the season. It's also a dumb sports car that only seats two. But you know what? I'm young. I got time to be smart when I'm old. After thinking it over, we drove out to the guy's house to see the car. First impressions were that this guy is old and he does not want to sell his car to me. Probably a good sign though, you don't really want to buy a car from someone that's trying really hard to give it to you. What are you hiding? It also doesn't help that I'm a teenage boy, and if they're known for anything, it's doing stupid things with your friends. That sentiment is not limited to totaling your car. It also didn't help that I actually didn't even have my license at the time of buying it because I wanted to get it before anyone else did. Hey, I'm Brody. I'm here to see the car. You're Brody. Uh, yeah. How long have you been driving? Uh, like two, like two years with uh, <clears throat> my, my permit. You don't have your license? And you want to buy my car. I've played a lot of Mario Kart. Luckily, my dad was there to assure him I'd be responsible with it. He's also good at talking to other car guys, so shout out to my dad for scoring some brownie points with the weird Mustang guy. Also, side note, when I first opened the driver's side door, he had a humongous hunting knife. You know, as you do, just in your car. Uh, hey, what's, what's this? Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. Huh. Okay, that's normal. After showing me the car runs and I'm getting what I'm paying for, I gave him the money and took my new car home. One little thing I left out about this car is that it's a manual. Or standard, or stick shift, whatever you want to call it. What does that mean, the youngins may ask? Well, it has this funny little stick in it, and a silly extra pedal that makes the car far more difficult to drive. The pros are that you get a bit more control, it can be more fun, and you look sick driving it. Oh yeah, fun tidbit, if you mess up, the car engine literally stops and you have to embarrassingly restart it. Like a loser. Definitely makes it a lot more nerve wracking when you've never driven one before and the only car you can practice on is a flamboyant blue and you regret all your life decisions. Heh, <laughs> what a loser. Hey, I'll come over there and I'll show you who's the loser. Just give it a, just give it a second, it'll, it'll go. Come on. But after you get the hang of it, they're pretty fun. And since not everyone can drive one, it's harder to steal because not- Wait, hey, hey, hey! <clears throat> but not impossible. Also, being able to drive manual means I can drive practically any car. Even this big semi-truck! <laughs> oh, oh! After I got the hang of it and the initial awe wore off, I got to experience the absolute treat that is car maintenance. Both my parents were mechanics, and my brother works at my uncle's auto glass shop. And I am a YouTuber. So the, the, the help was appreciated. My dad would always be doing some work on his truck and I'd watch, but I never paid much attention until I got a car. Finally, I graduated from tool hander over to tool user. Did I do it, dad? But car maintenance is pretty simple, as long as you remember to do it. One thing I will never enjoy is the stupid DMV. First time I had to get a car registered, no problem. Bill of sale, insurance, I now have a car. I even noticed a sign on my way out that said verbal abuse will not be tolerated and thought, huh, wonder why they have that. Should be pretty obvious. A few months later, I got a winter beater. 
Just an old Ford Explorer, nothing special, just to get me through the winter till I could sell it again and get back in the Mustang. Call back to when I said the Mustang wasn't a smart decision. But it shouldn't be a problem, right? I walk in there, immediately feel the wave of dread that spawns from the building somehow, and wait in line. They call me over, and it's even the exact same lady as last time. I give her the bill of sale, the insurance, and she pauses. You're 16? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna need a parent for this, son. What? Well, you're not 18 yet. You can't register it. I, I did it last time. Right here. In five minutes. Go get your mom. Well, now I know why the sign's there! I ended up getting it registered at a different DMV with my mom present, and she didn't even do anything! She was just there! You really need her for that? Are you serious? Haha, <laughs> fun times. Anyways, the point is, I'm really grateful to be able to have my own car, and at that, one I really like. Unlike a Kia Soul. If you're also getting your license, remember not to be a hooligan, don't put other people in danger, and enjoy the freedom. With all that being said, I'm gonna go pop that Kia's tires. I'm serious. 60 miles an hour on Heelys. I mean, rest in peace, but what a way to go out. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> hey, aren't you Brody Animates? Uh, no. Hey, whatever happened to Greg? Dude.